Thanks so much for watching On Call for All Kids. Today we're talking about returning to sports after a COVID-19 infection. We'll be discussing what myocarditis is and how it is linked to COVID-19, the risks for athletes associated with this heart condition, and other tips for athletes returning to sports this fall. I am joined by Dr. Patrick Molaroni. He is the medical director of the sports medicine program here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Great to see you, Dr. Molaroni. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Ashley. So let's start with myocarditis. What is it and what are the risks associated with it? Myocarditis is a inflammation of the heart muscle. And myocarditis, fortunately, is a very rare condition. But when it does happen, it can be associated with viral infections. And we've known about myocarditis for a long time, even before COVID-19 was around. And it can be caused by a variety of, of infections. The good news is, is that it's very rare. And considering the number of viruses or colds that a child gets every year, it's even more rare. It has been linked to COVID-19, but it's also been linked to the common cold, to the virus that causes hand, foot, and mouth, and even to infectious mononucleosis. You mentioned COVID-19. Have there been cases linked to COVID-19 infection? The virus that causes COVID-19 is just another virus that can cause myocarditis. And physicians and researchers have been studying this since the beginning of the pandemic. You know, children who catch COVID usually have symptoms for less than seven days, and they're much less likely to have a severe infection when compared to adults. We worry most about myocarditis in those that have moderate or severe infections. And to define those, the severe infections are those children that end up in the hospital. And those moderate infections are for children that have fever for greater than three days, or children that have symptoms for greater than seven days, such as like chills or muscle aches. We also should worry about children who are infected with COVID-19, who complain of chest pain or a weird feeling in their chest or palpitations. If that should happen, you should see your doctor. So if your child has been diagnosed with COVID-19 but wants to return to sports this fall, what should you do? Well, after resolving from a COVID-19 infection, you should go back and see your pediatrician and get cleared for return to sports. You know, the CDC recommends that you should stay home for 10 days after the start of symptoms, or if you're asymptomatic, you should stay home for 10 days from the time you test positive for the virus. After that, you should present to your pediatrician. And although further testing is very rare and is not often necessary, the pediatrician will evaluate you, will go through a history to make sure that you don't need further testing. Once cleared by your doctor, you should go through a seven day return to play protocol. Why you need to go back through seven days is to get the child back in shape, considering the fact that they've been home and been sick, but also so that during those days, we can gradually increase the effort should the child have any symptoms that are still lingering from COVID-19. And as a sports medicine physician for athletes returning to sports this fall, do you have any other recommendations for them? Well, you know, Ashley, I sit in a unique position. Not only am I a sports medicine physician, but I also coach Little League football and lacrosse. And something that I've noticed is that children are coming back to sport in worse shape than they ever have in the past. And that is a lot because of COVID-19. You know, many children stayed out of sports last season, so they weren't involved in any organized sports. And also with social distancing, it's led to a more sedentary lifestyle. Let's face it, children are sitting on the couch more often playing video games or watching television, and we need to get them up and moving. We know that exercise is medicine, and it's important to exercise for your child's health. So if your child's going to return back to organized sports, a good thing to do is to start getting them active now so that they show up to the field in shape. And if you've decided not to return your child back to organized sports, there's no better time to get active as a family. Let's get out there and get moving. It's the best thing for your child. All right, Dr. Mulroney, thank you so much for joining us today. Great to see you. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us today. Don't forget, you can also visit our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. There you'll find a lot of great topics in pediatric healthcare and other great resources for your family. We'll see you next week.